Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We're here in in the uh, sanitarium this time. Everyone is is I'm screaming here. bloody murder because, well, I I guess I I guess I'm the murderer, as it turns out. Um, so now we can actually go inside these cells. Maybe we should do that because before they were all locked. Hmm. Gosh, I can't believe we had to kill everyone. I was really hoping that um, just going for the constructs would would be f good enough. But I guess not. Oh, look at this. There's some magical stuff at above the, the door. I didn't even notice that earlier. Huh. Some sort of like... Um, Keeping an eye out. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like, um, it, it's just a label of like, um, like spice labels or something. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Let's head out here and see what awaits us. Probably some god awful thing. Probably just more of the same god awful things that we've already fought. Okay. Let's quick save. What do you know? Hey. Okay. Gauge there. Alright. Begin to shoot. Yes? Whoa, Edder, where where are you going, pal? Hey. I need you fighting that guy. No need Okay. There we are. Oh, look, there's a patrol. Oh shoot, Kana is still in melee. Oh well. He can take it, I think. Alright, eh, we'll, we'll hold off on using that. Okay. Aloth, throw down some of that. <laughs> that noise she made! <laughs> oh, we, sh we should really not waste it on that one. There we are. Alright, am I using my good one? Okay. That's the right. I was afraid I wouldn't have a line of sight on it. Nice. Oh, I crit him even. Good. I'm here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Trail. Get some of that. Okay. Let's sneak on over here. There was a whole bunch of bad dudes up in here, right? Eh, it doesn't look too much like they're uh, they're here anymore. Let's see if uh, old what's his butt is hanging out still. Anybody? Hello? Are you in here? Oh yes, you are. Oh, he's probably not gonna be real pleased with me. What have you done? You've been experimenting on patients against their wills, mangling their souls. I've witnessed it with my own eyes. As his face drains of what little color it had. How could you possibly? Look, it had to be done. Elthamower and the others, they took everything from me, everything. When I was this close, I had to know. Had to know where I failed and why. Imagine the value if I'd succeeded. I had something that could make all those hollow infants into something like a real person. And with a few more patrons and a few years research, who knows? No one has come that close with the legacy. It's why I have to continue. Why I risk to why I have to risk everything to here working in secret. It's why you have to lie to Ethelmoor for me. Tell him you've cleared me of all suspicion. Um. No, I'm I'm gonna expose you. Then I can't let you get in my way either. Oh, looks like we're gonna battle. Okay, let's get it on. Really on us. Ooh, man, it really messed her up. What did he use on us? 
Concussive missiles, wow. Helloth, you have concussive missiles, don't you? No. You do not. Hmm. Well, we should probably consider getting that. <laughs> Oh, wow. We we gibbed him. Alright. Gosh, everyone in here is screaming up a storm. Oh, look, his research journal. I'm close to a breakthrough. I've found an ample source of essence now, and the vessels have responded positively to infusion with the proxy. Human trials are the next logical course. And Northward patient record... Subject is male, approximately early 30s. Powers of speech absent, presumably as a result of the overfragmentation of his soul. As such, he is the ideal subject for present research. However, experimentation has caused severe pain and induced panic, and I have, I have had to enlist the aid of the guards in transporting him for more recent procedures. Hmm. Well, we killed him. Certainly. In self-defense, mind you. It was self-defense. Let's see what lies this way. Alright. Yep. As expected. This place is loaded with bad dudes. Okay, Edder. Get on out there. Give him a real humdinger. All right, and everyone else, we are going to unload. I'm here. Hot <laughs> justice, or whatever you would unload if you're a pirate. I guess it's not really justice. Oh my God, Kana, I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, there you go. It's not engaged with you, Kana. Come yes. back here. Okay. Oh gosh, everyone is like clogged up in here. Oh jeez, header. Hey. Settle. to get up and knock him down. Oh cool, we got 100% on a flush. Construct. I'm here. Great. Okay. Let's quick save. Quietly now. Free stealth. Oh, shoot, the guards are dead. Of course they are. Okay, Edder. You first. A second. I'm here. Okay, and this one. That's not very helpful. So again, back to the good one. Good job, everyone. These dudes aren't too tough at all, are they? Nice. I can't remember if there was anything of interest over here. Uh, looks like there is. We should definitely go investigate that. I'm here. Oh, we, we should check out this dead body. Money. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's all kind of situate ourselves like this. Great. Edders stand kind of hey. right there. Okay. And everyone attack. Um, Edder accidentally made you stop using I'm here. ability. Yeah. There we go. That's so funny. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, Edder, use this again. Oh, it's gonna try and knock you down. Ooh! Get off. It's fine. It's fine. We got him. Huh. Huh. What does this mean? Already activated. Huh. I have no idea. I'm here. Because it had two charges. And what does the flame reveal? Maybe it's just a bug. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely haven't checked this out. 
I'd be glad to. Another dead guy. A little bit of money. Good lord. Okay. Ooh, gosh. What a squeeze. Okay. Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. Is that it? Let's have a look around. Maybe we'll see a hidden thing. No. Huh. Weird. Should we look down this hallway? Just to be thorough? Ah, there's a construct. They dropped the uh, vessel flush. I can't remember what that's good for, though. Okay. They're quite slow. Okay, um, just give us your buff, actually. Durance. I'm here. That's not very helpful. No. Look at this. Quite good at one on one. Awesome. I'm here. I shall okay. be discreet. And that should be everything. At least in, up to here. Uh, yep. Oh, we didn't even loot this one. Gosh. I can't believe it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what kind of panic we've stirred here. Gosh, that lady who we were going to help out, she's probably dead now. Oh my god. Right, remember there were guards posted here? Oh, jeez. What have we done? Maybe she, like, went into a, her, the cage inside of her building. Her little room, I should say. Well, I guess it's no big deal that we let Ella take the thing if she is dead. Maybe she escaped. Oh, it's Modred. Oh, may maybe everyone's fine back here. I wonder who's screaming since I killed everybody. Okay, Muldred, what the head warden must be told what's going on down here. Sure. Um open it. No, huh. I thought I had the key. I guess not. Okay. Let's see if uh she'll say anything. Uh, but I am busy. I seem to have misplaced my I'm here. Parents. Whoops. I'm getting out of here. It's not safe anymore. Dude, it, was it ever really safe, though? Well, I guess we didn't need to use one of our, um, our camps, which is pretty good. At least I think so. Try to keep the use of them to a minimum, here. just in case we really need it. Gosh, can you hear the cars going by? Whew. Oh. Head warden Ethelmower. What the blaze has happened down there? You were given permission to ask questions. Um, I had things under control until I killed the leaden key spy. At which point he possessed a flesh construct. Yeah, I didn't kill him. It's complicated. A uh, patient of yours... Ushgrim was working for the Leaden Key, only without knowing it. Ezza was being influenced by a patient, but that patient really wasn't himself at the time. Hmm. Yeah, let's say this. The third one. You finish your explanation and Ethelmower breaks his silence. I have read accounts of people in history who could do what you describe. The accounts are few and brief and never reliable. Some go as far to suggest that they are all the same person. If truly such a person was here among us, plotting our ruin, would that I had a body again, and could be of some real use in our time of need. I fear what the future may hold for this place. 
I am grateful you were able to dispatch the threat before the loss of innocent life. We very nearly had another scandal on our hands. What of Azo? What part did his experiments play in this catastrophe? I confronted Azo. I was forced to kill him. He groans in disgust. Such a waste. There was none more gifted working here. In time, I had hoped to rehabilitate his image, but a mind like his, so full of ideas, leaves little room for patience. I would inquire more into the matter, but in truth, you have done this institution a favor. Were his transgressions ever to reach the public, there would be a terrible uproar. I was blind to have trusted him a second time. His tone takes an ominous quality that reverberates all around you. I trust you will be more cautious in future inquiries. Greetings. Greetings! Anything new? Now that was it. Uh, okay. I'm here. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Well, everything's all peachy up here, I guess, now. Uh... Let's have a look here. Yeah, there's... Is it complete? Oh yeah, it is complete. I didn't even notice. I'm here. Okay. Wow. Well, we fought our way out, and... It was a bit of a crazy time. In a crazy place. I guess that's to be expected, huh? Hmm, well, we'll go to the, um, the cheap inn and rest up. Or maybe maybe we'll go back to um Kaden Nua and rest up there. We'll have a look at our stronghold update. Let's see. Nothing new to report. Um Right, Vivian Stygian is back. Uh-huh. And how many days? Finished in two hours, okay. Hmm. Perhaps we'll go back. Thinking that's a good idea. Yes? Let's see, what else have we got here? Th that was it, right? Oh no, Hadrid's house. All right, we'll, we'll just check out. Oh, good day, stranger. Dunreed Robe Messenger. Beg your pardon. I have a message for you. You are summoned to Hadred House, where Lady Webb wishes to meet with you as soon as possible. They say she's an ancient spider spinning her nets throughout the city. He gives you a careful look. If she wishes to see you, that either bodes well. Very well, or very ill. Hmm. How did you know where to find me? Well, it's... It's Lady Webb. She knows everything. Tell me about her. Do you not know Lady Webb? She's... Well, no one's seen her. Exactly. In a long time. But she's the mistress of Dunreed Row. He has been, for as long as anyone can remember. He pauses, eyeing passerby with suspicion. Quietly, he continues. She's supposed to be old. Older than anybody. And she never leaves her room. Some say she's wasted away. And she's just a pile of bones kept animated by dark magics. She's still at it, best anyone can tell. Learning things, keeping us safe. Pulling the strings behind the throne, too, it's said. Has a ring of ciphers doing her bidding, telling her everything that goes on. You do wrong in this country, before you go asking the gods for forgiveness, best you ask Lady Webb first. What's Denry Row? A whole mess of ciphers, run out of Hatred House. They make it their business to keep the peace. But, they don't like you to see them do it. Problems in this city have a way of going away on their own, 
And when that happens, you can make a pretty good guess as to why. Where can I find Hadrian House? I think it's, it's that building right there. It's just over there, my lord. The southwest corner of Brackenberry. You'll find the lady upstairs. Very well. I'm here. Huh. Okay. Absolutely. So we'll go there shortly after we um we head back to Kadenua. Twenty two hours. Our construction will be complete as well. Maybe we'll get some money. I don't know. Would be nice. I wish I had like um like a spreadsheet of some kind. Walls need some work before this place is secure. My husband could fix them right up. Oh. Uh oh. Speak to the mob in front of your great hall at Cadenua? Whoa, we lost a lot to bandits. Holy smokes. Um, uh, maybe we should hire some folks. Yeah, who should we hire? Um, prestige and security. Security is what we're in need of. <laughs> A linebacker? Or line breaker, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. We are in need of some sort of security. Maybe the new Bailey is a good thing. We shall try it. Hmm, south or west? Eh, we'll just start from the top. Okay, let's quick save here and actually camp. Um, plus three dex. Okay. Dexterity is pretty good. At least for me. Faster actions and all that. I'm here. Okay. Let's speak with them. Okay, they're still here, so we'll quick save again. I was worried that sleeping would make them go away. Oh, it's a merchant. And a farmer and... Oh, and the marshal. Oh, jeez. I wouldn't pay, so they set my crops on fire. When my boy tried to stop him, they knocked him over the head. He's alive, but he can't think straight no more. Your boy got lucky. My gods, good men both, got put to the sword after they'd surrendered. I paid those thugs what they wanted, but they still took everything I had. There he is! A woman points at you. And all eyes in the crowd turn their hostile gazes upon you. Um, can I help you people with something? We don't need help. We just want you to leave us alone. We want justice. Go on. You sent your men to my farm to collect a crop tax, saying we was overdue. For me, it was a road toll. I've been traveling up and down this way for years. And this was the first I've heard of such a thing. Other people in the crowd chime in with similar stories. Um... Uh, what makes you think I sent these men? They said they were acting on orders from the Lord of Cade Nua. That's you! Those weren't my men. And who were they? They were no common bandits. If this happens again, it's not on my orders. You heard it directly from me. Say we believe you. Uh, what about what we've lost? What about my crops? And my goods? And the families of my guards? Hmm. I'll make these men face justice. You can count on it. I don't care about your idiot son or your trade goods. Get out of my keep. Share this amongst yourselves. Here, for all of you. Take this. Um. Uh, 
I feel like both of these are, are good options, too. I would be willing to... Like, for the, the farm stuff, I would pay them, but for the lives of those dudes... Gosh. I don't know what's, um, what I should say, because I definitely want to kill those people trying to, like, put a bad name out for me. And I'm pretty sure we know who it is. Um, we'll give them money. Share this amongst yourself. Or yourselves. What good is stealing if uh, we can't give back a little, you know? Most generous of you, my lord. The villagers nod and smile at you, uttering thanks as they distribute the coins between them. Your stronghold has gained three prestige. Ooh. Wow. That was pretty good. Ah, angry mobs. The inevitable thorn in every ruler's side, eh, Lyle? Um, they're good people. Can't blame them for reacting that way. Your subjects are fortunate to have a leader that understands the compassionate side of nobility. But for now, they will have to wait. I have news about Lord Gathbin. Let's discuss it in the Great Hall, away from curious ears. Who else is out here? There's no one out here. It's just us. Okay. Let's see what's up. Yeah, we'll um we'll hire someone to uh, increase our security by two at least. Maybe that'll fend off bandits. I'm here. Marshal? Lord Lyle? Oh, we got a bunch of XP, okay. I've received word that Gathman is amassing an army of mercenaries near Yenwood Field. It appears a peaceful claim to Kainua is no longer possible. The Earl sent me to aid you in forming your own force to counter this threat. I'm an advisory role only, of course. The Earl won't officially take sides in this dispute. Let's talk about my army. Why won't the Earl officially legitimize my claim? How much time do I have? I have fortress, strong walls. Why not let Gathman's army come to me? Why won't the Earl officially legitimize my claim? It's a delicate situation. Legally, Lord Gathman's claim is just, and he knows it. Stripping land and a title from a noble family is quite dangerous. Perhaps more so than killing the man outright. With Gathman dead, the Earl only need worry about blood vengeance from family members that actually cared for Lord Gathman. Those, if court gossip is to be believed, are few and far between. Losing a family claim to the land and title, though, such disputes incite hatred from the entire clan and their political allies, not to mention the unease it causes amongst the nobles. Wars are started for less. No, if Gathman is to be denied, it will be you who must prove your legitimacy to the Earl, and all others who would dispute your claims. That this is what it means is this is what it is, is means to be noble in the deerwood as oh, it's like an error my bad um if there's anything else you wish to know please ask uh i don't remember my initial like voice for this guy <laughs> sorry um let's talk about my army the marshal nods where am i getting my troops I've sent out a call for volunteers from the lands around Cade Nua. Hopefully, people will realize that being under your rule is preferable to that of Lord Gathman's. Any hirelings stationed at Cade Nua will also accompany you to the battle, so I suggest you acquire as many of them as possible. However, most of these men and women have no military experience. Hopefully, you can gain additional allies. The Knights of the Crucible, perhaps, or the Dozens. What's the status of my regular troops? The marshal shakes his head. Too green and too few. If you go up against Lord Gathman now, losses will be heavy. If, however, victory is still possible. We need to recruit veteran troops. Um, I know a company or two of veterans that would be willing to join us for a bit of coin. 
I'd say 10,000 coppers would cover, should cover the expenses. Let me think about it. I don't even think I got 10,000. Uh, what special allies do I have available? He shakes his head. No one has offered their help. I'm afraid it may be possible to find an ally in Defiance Bay among the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, or, if you're truly desperate, House Domenal. I've also heard rumors of a force of Red Sarens currently in the White March. If you find your way for that far north, perhaps you can sway some of them to join our cause. That's all for now. Um, how much time do I have? Enough. It's rumored Lord Gathman will suffer a series of unfortunate and completely unforeseeable setbacks before his army is complete. He grins and winks. Still, I'd not tarry long. I have a fortress with strong walls. Why not let Gathman's army come to me? Lord Gathman isn't fool enough to risk tearing down Cade Nua just to kill you, and... If you shield yourself behind these walls, he'll have free reign to torment your subjects in the countryside. Earl Badmar will see your inaction against Lord Gathman as a sign that you're unwilling to perform your duties as Lord of Cade Nua. Losing his support will have dire consequences. Taking the fight to Lord Gathman is your only option. Okay. Farewell. So we do need to get some dudes up in here. So it would be nice to have some veterans as well as others. But we need. Ooh, 10,000. We could afford it, potentially. Oh, look, we have quests. Huh. Okay. In the Valian Republic of Palmenia, a military graveyard has been struck by vandals that burn tributes left for the dead. Though troubling to the Duchess, she has few local resources to deal with the problem, as the Republic will soon be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Lagon Pirella, the Duchess would like to have the mystery solved quickly and quietly. Hmm. Okay. Edis isn't exactly quiet, because she's a fighter. I don't really... they're both not that great. I guess we'll send Vivian. Again. <laughs> okay, let's get some hirelings, huh? Is there uh, mechanics that we can look up for... Um, let's see, journal here. Um, no. Well, stronghold, maybe. Tips? No. Locations? No. Equipment? Uh, stronghold. Okay. That doesn't really tell us anything. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't really see anything here. Okay. So, hmm. Who should we hire? Let's see. A Warden of the Wilds, that sounds fun. And a Shock Mage, that sounds fun too. Orderless Disciple. I want the Line Breaker for sure. And we'll get one more person. We'll get the Knight. Cool. Four of eight. Okay. Um, so we could technically afford that one dude. Let's um, check our treasury here, though. Oh, here we go. Yeah, three uses on this. Um, Aloth, hang on to that. 
Edder, take that potion. There's our copper. Put all that in there. Okay. Gods keep you. Let's see if we can sell some stuff to this guy. You don't have anything good, right? No. Right, okay. Um, let's see what we can sell. Right, we can sell a whole bunch of this. Oops. I want one dagger back. Okay. Get rid of that. That. Uh, get rid of one pistol. One hatchet. Okay. Got quite a few of these. Maybe we should consider selling these fine items. I don't know. Oh, right. All these that we picked up. Maybe we sell off these. Because we're starting to really amass a collection. Okay. That looks good. And this... Gosh, look at all these. Oh, right, we wanted to keep those, didn't we? Just in case we needed them as, like, some sort of disguise. Are these books worth anything? Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, let's sell our duplicates. That's easy. Uh, we can sell lion hide, I guess. It's not an ingredient or anything like that. This, a tarnished locket. I don't remember what that was good for. Okay, that ought to do it. 3k. That's good. Good for me. I'll take it. I'm here. So we can actually afford um, the dudes now. Let's talk about my army. We need to recruit veterans. Okay. Let's get them. It will be done. That's all for now. Farewell. Okay. Cool. I'm here. All right. Let's look down here. We have our, um, what do you call it, our, oh gosh, I don't even know, our, um, our new blacksmith, I think it was, right? Oh, Kana said that. He sounded so weird when he said that. What in the world? We got our craft hall and our botanical gardens. I guess we'll, we'll go over and have a look at this. Oh, it's our line breaker. Waiting on your orders, my lord. I'm here. All right. What's well, a warden of the wilds? Something you want? Oh, look at our herbs. Mm. Oh, our our knight. All right, let's check out in here. Most events at the Stronghold occur over the passage of game time, tax collection. I didn't get to read that last bit. Does it say it here? Yeah. Tax collection, completion of side adventures, and the generation of crafting ingredients occur as you complete quests. Oh, okay. Dried fruit, cured meat, and mixed nuts are, are sorted uh, among the display case boxes. Okay. I can do. Good tidings, my lord. Might I interest you in anything? I offer supplies for the road. I'm sure you'll find many things of use to a hardy traveler such as yourself. Oh, my goodness. If only I hadn't just spent a whole bunch of money. Because some of this is looking good. Wow. Hmm. 
Oh, Shazbot. Put that back. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind having a second fine pistol, but... Eh, I can't really budget that right now, because I might, I might need to spend money on an emergency or something. I don't know. I'm here. Rainy day fund. The folded shirts feel soft and lightweight. Okay. Let's get out of here. So we need to um, get in good with, I guess, the Crucible Knights. God, I don't really like them. But I mm -hmm. guess... Looks a little I'm healthier here. than before. I guess I prefer them over the dozens who just outright hate people who worship Aethys. And I don't really have anything against those kinds of people. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's, um, let's head back to town to, um, what do you call it, place, and check out Hadred House, right? Yeah. Okay. Accept. And Brackenberry. Yeah, I wonder when we'll get our next companion. I know we don't have all of them yet. I'm pretty sure we... Oh. Nyrid attempts to escape from the dungeon, wizard, but was thwarted or do by you merely guards. hide behind them? Don't pawn your I'm personal here. problems off on me. They will use you. Cast you off when it suits them. Never speak another word to you. Maybe they just don't answer to fiery whore. <laughs> yes? Man, Eloth. Um, there's nothing really we can do about that other than say like, hey, good job, guards. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hadred House. All the way over here. Gosh, things are quite expensive. Oh. Whoa! Oh my god, it's him! Older rogue man. As you near the apparition, you are overcome suddenly by a powerful anxiety that sits like a stone in your stomach. The feeling is not quite real, the recollection of an emotion rather than the emotion itself. It wrenches your insides, nevertheless. The apparition's brow is tensed, a look of concern playing across its face. The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. Um, my mind has been elsewhere. Oh? And what troubles you? The pain in your stomach deepens, and you feel for a moment as though you are about to be sick. Your mouth has gone dry. Forgive me, Eminence. I wish to leave the Order. The man folds his fingers together and presses them to his mouth, thoughtful. You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? Um, the people we intended to convert, they committed unspeakable acts, sacrifices, mutilations. My family has not taken my new faith well. They no longer speak to me. I've done something unforgivable. We were attacked on my last mission. Um... Let's say family. The apparition exhales slowly and its lips press together. A sympathetic rapport in its eyes. It places its hand on your shoulder. The trials of faith can be without mercy, separating us from those we love, leaving no easy answers. I have failed the gods. I've broken my oath. You have failed no one. The gods would not ask you to abandon your family. It is your family that has failed you. They stand by their beliefs. Yet they do not allow you the same. They would have you trade your deepest beliefs for their affections. If you allow this, you will gain their acceptance, but lose their respect. 
what other choice do I have? Hold firm to your convictions. Continue your work. Believe in the power of the gods to reach all people. Your family will find them on their own. What if they don't? As long as you worship the gods, you will never be without family. You needn't choose between the two. Will you stay with us? Finish what you started? The knot in your stomach seems to loosen all at once, and the anxiety is replaced with something else entirely. Something warm and soothing. And it is something you know you can never repay. As the vision fades, you start to become cognizant of the many odd looks aimed in your direction. Your last response echoes in your mind. I will. Whoa. Very ominous. Yes. That guy's popping up more and more. Alright, Hadred House. What have you got for me? Oh, they have an indoor fountain. Bit excessive. Oh, the stairs actually... Dunreed agent. Curran's wasting his time with those disappearances. Lady Webb is in charge of Hadred House, but she rarely deals with anyone personally. So I've heard. A link! Yes, I'm certain of it. Gods keep you. Curran. The Orlan man is surrounded by books and scrolls. His wiry hair stands nearly on end, and his ears prick up as you approach. You carry whispers, Cade Nua, Gilded Veil, old voices indeed. How did you know? What are you talking about? The Orlin grins, revealing a row of dagger-pointed teeth. As a cipher, it's my job to know these things. You carry the whiff of ancients. What else can you tell about me? His ears twitch downward. Not as much as I would like, unfortunately. My duties for Lady Webb require require me to me, require me to focus my talents elsewhere. <laughs> he regards a table piled with scrolls. What brings you to Dunreed Row? Um. Ooh, Penhelm's affidavit. Right. Oh my gosh, this is the guy. I didn't even remember. Oh my god, it's been so long. He holds the page, but seems to stare through the words as if it's something woven in the fabric of the paper. Curran bears his pointed teeth. I remember Penhelm, a preening peacock of a man, his mouth dry and hands moist when I told him he was a sole descendant of an Adiran general, one who'd fought against Hadred's rebellion. He scans the affidavit. A forgery, and not the first I've seen. He hands it back to you. But I've no time for the knights and their obsessions. Bring this to his commander, Cliver, and show him the seal. He points to the wax stamped by, by his forged signature. If he compares it with another, he should be able to spot the difference. Aloth's glaze flickers to you. Doom a man for the soul the gods gave him? Seems rather unfair. Um. Hmm. Uh. Let's let's see if we can get quest from it. Looks as though you could use some help. So many secrets and trails in this city. You have you have to but turn a corner to find a fresh trace of something stolen or someone missing. He flicks an ear. Unfortunately, we haven't the time to investigate them all. I am supposed to be working on other matters, but my mind still lingers on a few recent cases. Curse of a cipher, to be ruled by the whims of curiosity. Tell me about these cases. One case, or three, depending on how you look at it, he taps his clawed fingers together. Three weeks and a disappearance at the end of each. Some might call it coincidence. I call it a clue. Lady Webb knows you trusts you. So I shall trust you too. So long as our interests are aligned. 
I'll look into it. Where should I start? Why can't you look into these cases? Uh, I'll look into it. I want XP. Sagani bounces on the balls of her feet. Just like one of those Valian whodunits! Read a few of those on the road. Helps pass the time. He grins, razor-tipped teeth showing between his lips. Copperlane, Andra's gift, and Brackenberry, of course, to talk to the ones who reported the disappearances, the only ones who know enough to care. Laura, Ollie, and Elka. Who's missing? Two men, one woman. One, one woman. One woman. One woman. Lendry, Kendall, and Cora. Ah, her legend grows. <laughs> Tell me about Lendry. Best to ask Ollie. It seems they drank together at the Salty Mast in Andra's Gift. Also seems that no one else knew him well enough to miss him. One of his ears twitches. Tell me more about Kendall. Reported missing by Elka, a dwarf who carried traces of... He closes his eyes and sniffs the air. Fine wine and young dandies. Plenty of time and money to spend on her pleasures. Try Brackenberry. And tell me more about Cora. Sister of Laura, one of the merchants in the Copper Lane Bazaar. Not the kind of person who would just disappear, it seems. Laura was most distraught. I think a visit from someone sympathetic will raise her spirits. Uh, did you find any leads? Not yet. No obvious connection between the victims, which is what makes me wonder so. He runs his hand through along the length of one ear. Could be animancy related. Researchers always need subjects, the less scrupulous types in particular. He pauses, deep in concentration. Seems too risky for the sanitarium, but one never knows. Aloth folds his arms. I wouldn't put it past them. He waves a hand. Talk first to the people who reported our crimes, our victims missing. Mayhap you will catch something I missed. Uh, let me ask you something else. Yes, of course. Tell me more about your skills. I check for soul connections. Looking for lost things, missing things, or troublesome things. Particularly where people of power and influence are concerned. I'm a cipher. In Erglanfoth, we were once known as... Holy hell. Br Brishalgwin, Mind Hunters. Nice title, yes, but it wasn't until the Animancers began working with my kind 40 years ago that we truly understood our power. Now, we make some of the best detectives in the world. Tracing souls, we can look at a person and see where they have been, or look at a weapon and see who has touched it. His nose twitches as he looks at you. Useful for solving crimes, as you can imagine. Uh, other questions? No. I'll let you know. Rogue Knight. Okay. We gotta show... Right. Kicked out by Penhelm. Right. Yeah, I want to screw over Penhelm. Okay. Um, let's see. Anything else down here? Oh, we could steal. Do I'm some, here. Some criminal activity. Except for this person who's... It's like... Right on my butt. Oh, there we go. We might be able to get it. Let's see. Oh! Just sugar? Good enough, I guess. I'm here. Some of these vintages are even older than Defiance Bay. I think we've seen that before. Wow, this place is a bit big. Bigger than I thought, at least. Then read agents all over the place. Ooh, look. I'm here. Perfect time for crimes. I suppose it can't be go. helped. Fine leather armor. Not sure how and I feel about go. this. Mirrored image potion. Okay. Nice. Oh, he doesn't have one. 
Okay. Um, either these notes are written in code, or the author's handwriting is atrocious. A group of notes speculate about the identity and location of a secret sect in Defiance Bay. Huh. Can we manage to somehow sneak steal this? Nah. What is this? Affixed to the wall are leads in a case involving, apparently, a caravan that disappeared en route to New Hamar. There's another map. I'm here. Okay, and we'll check the next floor. Oh, we can examine the indoor fountain. The marble at the base has been worn smooth by the passage of hundreds of feet. Alright. This is very New Vegas. No one's ever seen this person, but somehow they've been alive forever, pulling strings. And they're like a very important person. It's very Mr. House. Or Robert House, I should say. Yes? If if you it's that's relevant because uh, Obsidian did uh, New Not Vegas. a sound. As well as pillars. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Uh, let's see here. Pictures of all manner of folk are pinned to the this board along notes scribbled in an indecipherable shorthand. The notes are scribbled in a cryptic shorthand. Yes? Alright, there's some treasure in here that I want. Yoink! Yes? Alright. Anything in here? No way we can steal that. Alright. Lady Webb. There she is. And what does the flame reveal? I'm here. Can I steal from her? No, she's too good. Yes? Alright. Lady Webb. This woman clutches a thick stack of parchment with spindly, wrinkled fingers. Their flesh stretched thin to near translucence with extreme age. A gossamer veil over pale blue veins. Ink splotches and candle burns dot her and stripe her hands like a quilt patterned after some great indecipherable or indescribable truth. She does not look up from her reading. So the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. <laughs> it doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messenger. So she's cynical. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Cad! Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. Oh my god. 40 plus hours in and it is Cad Nua. Oh my god. Cad Nua. Not Cade. Cad. This is exactly what I would picture Alas' mother to be like. And this fiasco <laughs> that, in the sanitarium that you seem to have gotten yourself into the middle of. What in blazes possessed you to stir that nest of trouble? Um, I'm investigating a strange group. Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. Hmm. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the leaden key? Hmm. I ran across a man in one of the ruins. It's important that I find him again. One of, our mem one of their members caused my soul to awaken. I need him to reverse it. 
Um, I guess we do eventually need that reversed or else in time we'll go nuts. We'll say that we ran across man in her runs. She closes her eyes, and the lids flicker. Then her face goes still, and her mouth parts a little more than a sliver, and her hands briefly and her hand briefly drops open, spilling some of her parchment to the ground. The pages wafting around her legs like the leaves of a dying tree. Her fleshy eyelids peel back, and her gaze is immediately upon you. The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aora has ever known. How do you know I seek Theos? Because you have seen his face, Oops. and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems. It must have been a special occasion. What can you tell me about Theos? More than most, though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. Wow. If rumors are to be believed, wow. Theos was the one who created it. What scraps of evidence exist suggest that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man. What? Awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes. The plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Jeez. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Woodica's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. Hmm. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known Whoa. to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. I wonder why he can't just assume direct control of my my body and just have me like kill myself he is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters if he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now it may be your only chance to find him and once you do find him if you can find him i would not hold my hopes too high if i were you he is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. How do you know so much about him? The same way I come by all my knowledge. Exhaustive research, spying, bribery, perhaps some less savory measures. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos... There is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks far too well. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now, though I believe they were many. What else is there to know about the Leaden Key? Precious little, I'm afraid. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in, or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know. If you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. Huh. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary. And he does not fail. And what do you want from me? Keep me informed. The Leaden Key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. 
You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Hmm. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it, and provide you with what assistance I can. Um, well that's good. It'd be funny though if she tries to backstab us and she's after the same exact goal. I don't know. Oh well, we'll take the help while we can have it. If Very you well. find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Um, well, there is something I can tell you, I guess. Well, let's hear it. I found Theos in Brackenberry Sanitarium, impersonating a patient. It was trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me, it is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. Hmm. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. How? Alright, that's all. Um, this progress is encouraging. I, I only hope that we are not too late. I have yes. other questions. Oh, we have a lot. Uh, tell me more about Dunreed Road. All the things there are to know in this world, and you ask me about work. Deerwood is a rebel country. Conflict is in its blood. If you think a few guards posted in our cities keep chaos at bay, you are very new to town indeed. We are Deerwood cipher investigators, of course. But what we really are is its last barrier against anarchy. People are more at ease when they believe they are watched over by someone more enlightened than they are. It pacifies them. So that is the image we foster. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Jeez. And we do try to be enlightened for their sake. The knowledge we gather here is Deerwood's standing army in many ways. We learn what's vital and we act on it while Deerwood sleeps blissfully unaware of the terrifying truths all around them. I wish I could tell people the things I know sometimes, but the truth is I don't think many of them could bear it. How did you come to be here? Me? I started this place, in a different time, under a different duke. I impressed the duke with my research and my work ethic, and he became possessed of the notion that I would be ideal to lead a secret network of gifted investigators. I don't know how such an idea got into his head. Duh. She winks. How old are you? She gives a half-hearted gasp and covers her mouth with her crumpled fingers. You wicked man! Where are your manners? Were you raised without a shred of decency? I lost count ages ago. Such a strange thing to celebrate, getting closer to death. Oh, I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. Okay. So two things are going to happen to this person. Either she is going to backstab us and and like um try and do whatever 
old man McGillicuddy Theos is, is trying to do. Or she's going to get killed. There's no way she comes out of this alive, right? We're, either we kill her or, like, the leaden key kills her. There was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. I must have gone soft with age. <laughs> are you psychic? If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Jeez, what if I were a cipher and a watcher? <laughs> Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. A <laughs> tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them, they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. Um, you said you don't know what will happen tomorrow? Who said I was talented? I don't. Least not that I can trust. And with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. And what's A that? A quiet day at home. <laughs> um, is there a Lord Web? Ooh. There was. Oh, Shazbot, was it Theos? Theos? He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. Oh, it doesn't we seem... We saw it. the world very differently, he and I. But he was good to me while he lasted. Aww. Uh... Yes? Yeah, that's it. Farewell. Try your best not to die out there. I'll try. Yes. I gotta make it to the sequel after all, lady. Okay. Well, um... I guess that just about does it for this one. Uh, when next we come back, goodness, what will we do? Um, we have a lot of things we can do. It's just a matter of deciding which. We'll probably follow up that, um, side quest, won't we? The, uh... Oh, what was it called? The Rogue Knight. Right. Because I... I do want to screw over Penhelm. I, I definitely want that. Because Osric was unjustly kicked out. Um, yeah. So that next time, we're going to do that. All right. Peace.